you are watching a 123sonography.com video. We provide innovative teaching materials on echocardiography. Please visit us at www.123sonography.com to see more. The easiest way to get to a two-chamber view is when you start out from a four-chamber view. So this would be the four-chamber view. But before you rotate, before you try to get there, the most important thing is that you have to try to get the ventricle right in the middle. Because when we rotate, we will be rotating around that middle. And uh, if you do not uh, you know, put the left ventricle in the middle, you will be rotating around different structures and not the left ventricle. So now we have the ventricle in the middle. And now I will be rotating without changing the axis slowly counterclockwise and you will see that the right ventricle gets smaller and smaller and at the same time you will have to try to assure that the size of the left atrium remains as large as possible. If you lose the size you will also tilt out of your axis and you will not get a decent two-chamber view. So this is basically just to give you an aid that you're still on, on track. So you rotate more and more until you finally arise at the two-chamber view where you do not see right ventricular structures. From in the two-chamber view, what you will be seeing here is the anterior wall, the inferior wall, the left atrium, and the mitral valve, which you, where you cannot distinguish between anterior and Post and anterior and posterior leaflets simply because you're now exactly parallel to the closure, uh, to the commercial closure line. 